the next section, which is the ligand uh, information on aggregated view of proteins. This is how the ligand page uh, looks like. This section shows you all the ligands. By default, it only shows the ligands which are directly bound to the protein of your interest. However, if you click on this button, you can you can you can uh, see all the ligands which may not may or may not be directly interacting with your protein. In this case, the directly interacting ligands and all ligands are of say all the ligands are interacting, and hence you see the number is same. You can filter your ligands list or gallery uh, using molecule name or, or PDB ID or even the three letter code of the ligand. We, we highlight the ligands with known functional annotations uh, in green and the data for them is shown over here at first. Uh, these annotations can vary from cofactor, which is coming from our cofactor pipeline. Uh, we also map to drug bank uh, and RIA database in order to annotate ligands as drug and uh, reactant like respectively. Uh, if you hover over the head code, you can see the full molecule name. Over here, you can see uh, found into entry PDB entries, and this links uh, gives you uh, PDB search results listing all these PDB entries. Or each of this button uh, the, in the each of this image in the ligand gallery is uh, essentially linked to 3D visualization. On clicking on the ligand image, you will see a mall star uh, uh, window opening, uh, showing you the ligand binding pocket. If there is more than one ligand which is uh, bound uh, in uh, in more than one entry, you have the drop down menu and you can navigate between various PDB entries. Uh, you can click uh, on this uh, download button in order to download data for this particular uh, ligand. Now, the next part of this uh, section is uh, ligand binding residues. And uh, this is shown in the Prot Vista viewer and it shows you the, the residues which are involved in binding. Here, uh, this view can help you uh, identify the commonly interacting residues. These are say we usually uh, we, we usually color code them or there is a color gradient uh, and mostly the more consistent the interaction is uh, more darker is in it is in color and hence it can allow a user to have a clear identification of key interacting residues. If you if you uh, hover over uh, a residue in the tooltip, you can see uh, the residues details and the entries in which they are present. If you collapse the ligand binding site, uh, often you can see uh, the overall uh, uh, ligand binding residue uh, overview. And this collapse view can also help in finding patterns in binding events. For example, over here, you can see these particular two ligands have similar binding sites and they have same scaffold. Uh, and you can also identify the common binding residues. Uh, you can download the data uh, using again the download buttons uh, and, and also the ligand annotations. The 3D viewer uh, shows you the superposed ligands as discussed in the summary section. The same view is accessible. You can download the structure data. Uh, so here, the only the structures which are ligand bound uh, you can down them specifically, all kinds of information and the, all the ligand related annotations, which you see in ProtVista viewer can be downloaded using the uh, button over download button over here, ligand annotations. Uh, 